Well, good morning, everybody. It's time to shave. Today we're gonna, um, it's a Thursday, by the way, in October, mid-October, getting towards late October. And we're gonna do a hodgepodge, a uh, smorgasbord shave today, if you will. Um, no, I will not be using Barbasol today. I will, however, be using this Cella Crema de Barba. And that's the, uh, the almond shaving cream that smells like almonds and cherries. Oh my, I could eat this. I could put this on toast and eat it like Nutella. Do you say Nutella or Nutella? I say Nutella, I could be wrong. And we're going to use that shaving cream. We're gonna use the old satin tip brush that is soaking my Emesis basin down here. I had to look that up again. I couldn't remember the name of it. It's, they call it a kidney dish in England, but it's an Emesis basin here in the United States. Well, I'll show you, I'll show you. I have, I have, th I don't know why, but I have three of these. Things. This one's got soap in the bottom of it. Don't worry, that's not, that's not something gross. I have three of these things. So I think when I do finally do that video of, uh, of giving away my different shaving supplies, which I'm sorry I haven't done yet. You know how life is when you're the father of two and you're married and you got jobs. You, you're not always putting that at the top of your, your list of things to do. But when I do, maybe I'll give these away too if anybody wants. I think I had this from when uh, we had our second son, and that was like, that was many years ago now. So, it's in case you, you need to put some soiled medical equipment or maybe throw up just a little bit. Anyway, I got that filled with hot water, and then we're going to, sorry about that, we're going to shave with one I don't ever shave with. The Fat Boy from 1958. I'll try to get this without, uh... so yeah, this isn't the executive model, that's why it's gold. From 1958, the third quarter of 1958. And in case you didn't know, they have date codes on these old Gillettes on the back, stamped on the bottom. There'll be letters and a number, and the letter indicates the year. The number is what quarter of that year it was made. So this is the third quarter of 1958, and I never shaved with this. I got this at an antique mall years ago for like 30 bucks. And it's in fantastic shape. It's not grungy at all. And you know what I'm gonna do? It's an adjustable, and I like an aggressive shave. So I'm gonna shave on a nine. This thing goes to nine. Can you see that? And I don't think I've ever shaved on a nine. I usually, when I use my other fat boy, the old grungy, I use a seven. So let's try with this with a nine. And then for an aftershave, going back to the Bay Rum Stuff from the Stuff Shaving Company, Bay Rum. All right, I took a shower, I did my hair. Uh, I'm gonna have lunch after this so I don't have a full stomach while I'm talking to you, that would be gross. All right, I'm gonna shave with a feather blade as I normally do. Okay, so let's do this all on camera to prove that it's real. That's right, folks. All of this that's happening before your eyes is real. This is a real man shaving with a real razor blade. Look at that. Feather blade. Be careful, handle it by the edges. Uh, and when you have an adjustable uh, razor like this, it's best to adjust the setting before you close the top. This is a butterfly razor, so you just twist the bottom till it stops. This thing is in such good shape. It's incredible. 1958. That is 60 years old. Wow. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Got the shaving cream down here. I'm going to put some hot water on my face, even though I took a shower. Because that's the way I like to do it. Now... Yesterday I was lazy. I didn't even take a shower yesterday. I know not everybody takes a shower every day, but I like to because I just feel gross if I don't. And so I didn't, uh, I, I got up quickly and I, I kind of had the feeling I wasn't going to take a shower yesterday. So I got the electric razor out and just took off that beard in the morning. And so I was a little bit lazy yesterday. Didn't take a shower or anything. So today I'm going to make up for it with a few passes with this shaving cream. So when, when it's kind of hard like this, it's, it's a little bit hard. It's like, it's like wax almost, but not quite as hard as wax. So I'm gonna try to take about that much. Now, th this would benefit from using a bowl, but as you know, I don't like using bowls for some reason. So what I'm gonna do to show that you can face lather, even with the hard cream, is I just put it on top and I kind of smear it around a little bit, kind of squish it into the bristles. Can you see that? Try to keep it near the top and kind of spread it around just a little bit so that once I get it up there on my face, it'll foam up nicely. Yeah, there you go. There. So that's what it looks like. 
And whatever I have left, I'll just put on my face here. A little bit more water on the, on the brush so that it's not soaking wet, but uh, you know, we'll go for it. Oh my goodness, a little too much water. Do you hear that? It's running down my arm into the sink. But that's okay. That's why I'm standing over the sink. It's like when you're a bachelor and you eat over the trash can. You know, you eat dinner alone in your apartment over the trash can so the crumbs don't go all over the place. <laughs> oh yes. Sad but true. Oh man, this stuff smells good. It does not taste good. It doesn't taste like anything, actually. That's the great thing about shaving creams like these, like good quality, made with natural ingredients. They don't taste bad. You know, like if you say you're gonna put soap in someone's mouth and it was shaving soap, you'd be like, oh, that's okay. All right, smooth it on there. Now, I just had a lovely honor paid to me via the form of a tribute video, a shaving tribute video. Have you ever heard of that? from the gentleman over at The Shaving Channel. I'll put a link below. I should have I should have dug down and gotten his name, dang it, I'm sorry. But he did a tribute to me, Sinatra Lennon, the Bob Ross of shaving. And what he did was he used things that I use. In fact, he doesn't ever use Barbasol, but he used Barbasol and it was like torture for him. Poor guy, I felt so bad. <laughs> but he was a good sport about it. And then he used my caffeinated aftershave and he used his fat boy razor. So it was kind of cool. I'd never heard of that before. So thanks a lot. Link below to the, the shaving channel. All right. Let's see how the executive fat boy from 1958 goes on at nine. I can't tell you the last time I shaved with this one because I kind of want to keep it, you know, pristine. But I guess if it's been around for 60 years, it is 60 years, right? I'm terrible with math. And it's still this clean after 60 years, and you know, my little efforts won't harm it as long as I keep it clean myself, take care of it. Take care of your stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is doing well. I don't know if there'd be a difference between this 58 and the, the, the 1960 Fat Boy. Because it's essentially the same design. I think maybe, yeah, the knurling, like these little grip marks are different. Like these are just straight lines. And on the fat boy, they're kind of like cross hatches. You can't see it, so I'm not gonna try to show it to you. But that was a design change I guess Gillette made. But it does hold the grunge better when it's cross hatched like the, uh, the 1960 one. I gotta watch out around my chin. That's where I get my most nicks. I'm gonna go over it too many times. So we are deep into October. Probably my favorite month of the year. Halloween is upon us. What are you guys gonna go for for Halloween? Me? Well, I'm, I'm gonna be a stormtrooper until uh, I can't put on the armor anymore. Does it ever get boring? No, of course not. I mean, if you had stormtrooper armor, would you get bored? I'm a giant nerd, guys. You should know that. You've seen those videos, right? Look back in my catalog, and it's not just shaving, it's also storm, Stormtrooper armor. <laughs> hey, what the heck. It's fun. And when my kids get old enough, maybe they can pass it on to them. One of my boys is into, into Star Wars, the other one's more into Spider-Man. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more water on here. There's the first pass. No nicks. Feels good. And uh, time for the second pass. Let's go. So I keep trying to figure out a good time to have a session out on the porch with some scotch, but it just hasn't been right. You know, I get, get home and I get tired and I think, oh, this will be perfect. I'll do it then, but I just haven't done it. And I don't have any scotch right now. Actually, I do, but it's not some scotch I want to, you know, drink. Not because it's bad, but it's kind of collectible. I don't know if I mentioned it in a different different uh, video, but it's Blade Runner Scotch. Johnny Walker Black came out with some Blade Runner Scotch for that movie, Blade Runner 2049. 
and it was a limited supply, so I was able to get my hands on them all. It was pretty good. I'm not a big Johnny Walker fan, but this stuff was good. All right, we're going sideways. Now, when I was growing up in Houston, October did not necessarily mean fall-like temperatures. Usually it meant just more humid, muggy grossness. And when I was a kid, costumes, if you're like me, you grew up in the 70s, costumes, you'd go down to like the uh, Walgreens or, you know, whatever five and dime was in your town. And they sold these Ben Cooper costumes in the box. So it was a box. And what you saw in the front of the box was the, it had a clear window that you could see the mask. And it was just this flat mask with an elastic band that would go around the back of your head of the character, like Batman or Casper the Friendly Ghost or, you know, Yoda or whatever. And then the costume part that you put on was just a smock that would say the name of the character that you were dressed as and have like a picture of the character. It didn't look like you were wearing Superman's costume. It would be a picture of Superman and the word Superman. <laughs> Even as a kid that bothered me. I have fond memories of it now. In fact, I have a, I bought one of those Stormtrooper ones off of eBay a few years ago for cheap because they're still out there and it's got you know, it's got a picture of the stormtrooper on it that's sort of badly drawn and uh, it just says Star Wars. But I loved it when I was a kid. It's the closest thing I could get. But uh, in Houston, when you were wearing those plastic masks, you would be sweating. The inside of the mask would just be covered in condensation. <laughs> and I guarantee that those uh, smocks that you would wear were very poorly flame retardant. Like you didn't want to get near your grandpa's cigarette as he was drinking his bourbon while he walked you around the neighborhood, you know, because you would catch on fire. That'd be a heck of a costume, though. What's that guy's name? Fantastic Four. What's his name? I'm thinking the Human Torch, is that it? Human Torch? Yeah, you'd be the real Human Torch. All right, there's the second pass, and I did get a little nut nick down here. You gotta watch out for that. Now I do have a styptic pencil that I don't really use just cause, I mean, obviously I have used it, but I don't like using it if I don't have to. I like to use the natural method of just like kinda holding the bleeding down or, you know me, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to walk around with paper, you know, toilet paper stuck to my face. Sometimes I forget. Oh, more water on my face first. I need to put the top back on me. Cella. Cella is bellissima. Pardon my Italian. Or whatever that language was I was just trying to speak. I tried to speak Spanish, or learn Spanish last year, but I've kind of not had the time. I should have done it many years ago. I can understand some of it. Gets me around town if I need to. Around a Mexican restaurant menu. But I feel bad not, I took French in middle school because I thought, oh, Spanish is boring. No, Spanish is useful. Spanish is a beautiful language that you should learn and know. But what do you know in middle school, huh? If you could go back and make different decisions in your life, perhaps we'd all be a little bit better off. <laughs> Speaking about myself mostly. All right, let's do a third pass. What? Penance for yesterday up against the grain. I do feel that nine, that setting is a little too aggressive, so I would definitely go down to a, to a seven. But it seems to be taking those whiskers off. I'm kind of doing it in a different weird way today, aren't I? I'm kind of not really thinking about it, I'm just going with it. It's like jazz, man. I'm like the Miles Davis of shaving. I'm like the Dave Brubeck of shaving. That's who's always on in the background, Dave Brubeck. I'm like the Herb Alpert of shaving. I don't know that much about jazz, but uh, I know some of their names. Any jazz musicians watch this channel? Any musicians at all? I'm a part-time guitar player. For fun, never trying to be professional or anything, just for fun. And to get girls back when I was single. And it worked. It worked a few times. 
I was a late bloomer, if you want to, if I want to be real honest. I lucked out and got a date to prom in high school. I had not dated throughout any of my years of high school until my senior year. Got a girlfriend. Still friends with her on Facebook. I won't mention her name, but you know who you are. Anyway, so I was a late bloomer. I didn't have a lot of luck with the ladies until, until later. Came into my own in my 30s. That was my, that was my, the peak of my power. <laughs> now it's all slow decline from there. <laughs> but that's okay. Transfer that energy to raising children the right way, hopefully. All right, I, I got a couple more little nicks. Now I'm gonna blame, I'm not gonna blame my tools because it's a poor workman that blames his tools, but I'm gonna blame my tools and say that it was the feather blade and the setting on nine. Uh, okay, I'm gonna wash my face off. Hopefully that'll, there's one or two, one or two. I mean, these, these are tiny nicks. These aren't like, you know, slices in my face. All oh, the water's cold. Woo! Feels good. Ah. It's weird, my city started putting pumpkin spice in the tap water now during October. Very strange, I'm not sure if I like it or not. Okay, I'm gonna wash out my brush. I'm gonna kinda let that water, you know, cool my face off and see if it stops any of those tiny little nicks. And since I never use one on screen or on the video, now, when you're done with your butterfly razor, open the top up and rinse it off. Let it dry. I'm actually going to take the blade out of this one because I'm not going to use this one again. And I'll let it dry on its own. I'll use this in my, my rock well. Put it right here. So I'll let this dry off. Let's see. Did it? Did just the water help? There's one little thing. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. All right. Towel from nowhere. Probably gallons of blood in this towel just from all the shaving necks over the years. Oh, that's terrible. Hey, but it's Halloween, right? Spooky. Spooky. Should we have a spooky Halloween episode where I just cut the dickens out of my face? No, you sicko. Why would you want to see that? All right, let's use the The Stuff Shaving Co. That's their website. Uh, TheStuffShaveCo.com. Made in the USA. There you go. Uh, Bay Rum. Let's spray it on and see how much it hurts. Penance. Oh. Mm. Right there, right there. Mm-hmm. Close your eyes or else it might, uh, there's alcohol in this thing. Yeah, that's the burn. And then a lingering scent afterwards of the old world in the Caribbean and the rum trade. I do like a nice rum drink in the summertime. Tiki drinks. There used to be a tiki bar here in town. It closed down. I love it. Loved it. It was called Ocean's Eleven. And not, no, I'm talking about the real Rat Pack Ocean's Eleven, not, uh, not George Clooney and Brad Pitt, which are, well, that was also a good movie. All right, I'm, I'm checking the blood flow here to see if the Bay Run, Bay Run might have shocked those little nicks into stopping. I think it did. I think we're good to go, folks. Is that it? Are we done? I rinsed, right? I shaved, yes. I spritzed, I creamed, I lathered, I th talked, and I think that's it for now. Okay, I promise in a video coming up, and I don't know when exactly, I will uh, film, like I'm gonna divide up little packages of things that I've been sent for free and, and pass them out. The leaf razor is already, already spoken for, so I'm gonna send that off to the gentleman. Uh, and so I'll make a video showing each little package and I'll number them and like number one if you want number one say so if you want number two number three and then we'll have to figure out the shipping costs and that that's the part also is like I don't know how to do that I'm not an online merchant I'm just a simple man that's trying to stay shaved well thanks for joining me again I really appreciate it. and thanks again to the shaving channel for uh, that wonderful tribute check it out I'll put the link below and uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I read all your comments, even if I don't respond necessarily. I'll put a little heart next to it usually. And that's it. So thanks for joining me, everybody. Happy October, and I'll see you before too long, probably next week.